Hey guys, so tonight's Monday and we are having tacos for dinner. Um, they're gonna be turkey tacos. And with the tacos, I am gonna make a slaw to go on top of the tacos. And I do that with Greek yogurt, a squirt of sriracha mayo, some oil and vinegar, some fresh cilantro, cabbage, shredded carrot, and some lime juice. And that's how I make my little quick slaw to go on top of the tur um, tacos. My kids don't eat the slaw, but me and my husband love it. Um, and my kids will just use sour cream, but instead of sour cream, we do Greek yogurt. My daughter loves it. She doesn't even realize that it's not sour cream and she's a sour cream lover, but the Greek yogurt in place of sour cream, delish. And I am also going to add a can of beans to my taco meat. So let's get started. I also put onion in my taco meat because it just gives it a ton of flavor and it's, you know, something so simple you can do and you don't even notice it in the meat. Once you smash the beans and the onion into the meat with the taco seasoning, you don't even know it's there. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start by putting some olive oil in the pan and I'm gonna put it on medium and just let that heat up while I chop the onion. Okay, so I'm just gonna dice the onion for the taco meat. Turn that down. I'm gonna do the whole onion except for a little piece which I separated over here to put the um, to put in the slaw. And I'm making three pounds of ground turkey taco meat, and we're obviously not gonna eat three pounds tonight, but taco meat is one of those things that you have in the fridge, and you can do so many things with it. You can make yourself a taco salad, put the taco meat and some shredded cheese over a salad with like a cilantro lime vinaigrette. You can put it in wraps with some rice and beans. You can use it to make like nachos. You can use it in pasta. Taco spaghetti, I've had that before. So whenever I make taco meat, I always make extra because we actually love to have taco meat leftovers because we use it during the week for so many things. And if you make too much, too much, you can actually freeze the taco meat and you'll have taco meat ready for taco night another night and it's already done. So cook once, eat twice, eat three times, eat four times. Taco meat is one of those things that you can just eat a ton of times. And normally you would just add the taco seasoning to the meat, but because I'm putting a can of beans in here, which are bland, and I'm putting a ton of onion in here, I'm gonna put a little bit of all-purpose seasoning you could do a little salt and pepper if you want. And this is what I use. They have a low sodium one too, if you're watching your sodium. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on here, just like that. And I'm gonna start sauteing this. All right, so I'm gonna start shredding the carrot and the cabbage to get the slaw prepped while I wait for the onions to caramelize and then I'll put the meat in there. And something that I like to add to my taco meat is beans. If you follow my channel at all, you know I always put beans in my taco meat um, just because it gives it extra nutrients, it stretches the meat, right? So it's budget friendly. Um, you're getting extra fiber and you don't taste it because I'm gonna smush them into the meat with my meat chopper and you won't even know they're there. So I'm gonna rinse and drain these, I'll be right back. Okay, so I drained and I rinsed my can of beans. These are red beans, they're not very red looking, but they, they look more like pink beans. Maybe the can was mislabeled, no idea. But I use red beans, pink beans, black beans, whatever beans I have, I do it with all of them and they all come out the same, it's delicious. 
Um, okay, so these are drained and rinsed. The onion over here, it has softened up. So now I'm gonna start adding the turkey meat in and start getting that browned up. I'm doing three pounds, so this is gonna be a lot. All right, so three pounds of turkey in, spread that out. I'm gonna turn the, oven, the stove up to a medium high. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit and brown for a few minutes, and then I'll start using my meat chopper to start chopping it up and moving it around. Okay, so I'm just gonna get my meat chopper and move this around. And I use turkey because A, it's leaner than beef, and a lot of times it's cheaper than ground beef, so it's budget friendly. And again, once you put the taco seasoning, do you really notice whether it's beef or turkey? Nope, my family doesn't, so why not go with the beef? I mean, <laughs> why not go with the turkey? So we do a lot of ground turkey, even turkey burgers, turkey meatballs. Okay. So I'm gonna let that keep browning. I have the flame on high right now. And I'm just gonna start working on the slaw. And I don't put the beans in until the meat is browned. Because then I dump the beans in there and I smash them with a potato masher. So they get completely incorporated into the meat. And if I put them in now and start smashing them, they tend to get stuck to the bottom of the pan. So the beans go in last, right before you put the seasoning in, you put the beans in, smash them up in the meat, and then you put the taco seasoning in. That's how I do it, works beautifully. Okay, I'm gonna start on the slaw, let that brown up. Okay, so for the slaw, I have this massive bowl. I don't need a bowl this big, but I am gonna make a good amount because I like to have extra slaw also because I put it on sandwiches and I eat it on the side with if we have leftover rice. It's just, slaw is one of those things I make extra of also. So I have this huge bowl because I like to have plenty of room to mix. The worst is when you're trying to mix something and it's falling out of the bowl. So I have my massive bowl right here. And I am gonna start by slicing up some onion really thin and that's going to go in the slaw with the cabbage and the carrots okay I'm gonna have a little bit more onion over here. Okay, I'm just gonna give it. All right, perfect. So I'm gonna get this in the bowl. So that's the onion. And next, carrots, I'm gonna put them in the food processor. You can buy shredded carrot at the store, which is perfect for the Mexican slaw, but I don't have any, but I want the carrot in there. So I'm gonna put this in the food processor and make like a carrot confetti, and I'm gonna throw that in there. Okay, so I have my baby carrots that I turned into confetti, like nice and nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna put that in there. The shredded carrot is nicer because you have like the nice, long, crunchy pieces. But if you don't have it, you know, sometimes you, oh my God, it almost looks like caviar or something like roe. Okay. And now I'm gonna cut up the cabbage. Take the end off. Take this outside leaf off. All right. You can use the mandolin for this, but I'm just gonna use my knife. And the reason I'm using the knife instead of the mandolin 
is because this cabbage is a little wilty. So it probably won't slice well on the mandolin. It'll probably keep getting caught. So the inside's crunchy, but the outer half an inch layers are kind of wilty. So it's just easier to cut it by hand. Should have taken out the core first. Oopsies. There we go. Okay. Good. So now I'm just going to keep doing this by hand. And just do it as thin as possible. And you know what's really good, really good in slaw? Scallion. But I don't have any of that either. All right. Get this in the... Okay. All right. And next, I'm going to do some lime. I have this sad little lime that's been in my fridge for probably a month, but it's okay. It's still good. Probably doesn't have much juice, but we're going to get out of it what we can. And if I need a little bit more acid, I will go for a lemon. I've got a little bit in here. That's well, pretty good. Okay. And the other half. Get every last bit out of here. Okay. Now, I am going to add some garlic powder. I guess it's like a tablespoon. I don't really measure things often. I kind of eyeball things. Some olive oil. A little bit of apple cider vinegar for that punch of flavor. Okay. We're going to do some salt. Not too much because the taco seasoning is already very salty. And we're going to do... some sriracha mayo. I don't know, maybe that's a tablespoon or two. Okay. And last but not least, we're going to do some fresh cilantro. If you don't have fresh cilantro, go ahead and use dried. That's what I do when I happen not to have fresh. Do more than that. I'm gonna rip some more off of here. This is actually this is cilantro, and this side is parsley. So what I do when I buy them, I put them in a jar of water. This is like a mason jar in the fridge, and it lasts longer. This is going on week two, and it still looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna rip some more of this cilantro off of here. Go. Okay. All right. So now Okay, when I get this in the slaw, 
put the cilantro in there. All right. Now, if this wasn't for my family, I would be putting some jalapeno in here. Just a small amount of jalapeno diced up, but my family doesn't like heat that much. So the sriracha mayo is plenty heat for them. And now I'm going to take my fork and just give everything a nice mix. And you end up with this vibrant, crunchy, tangy, vinegary, delicious, crunchy, fresh slaw to put on top of your tacos. Yum. So normally it's like shredded carrot. This looks a little crazy because of the confetti carrot, but all I had was baby carrot. So whatever. It's okay. Just looks a little weird. Okay. So I think that is mixed enough. Give it one more whirl. I'm going to get my spatula and go around. Get that all in there. All right. Let's give it a taste and make sure that it doesn't need anything else mm. that doesn't need anything perfect all right so the slaw is ready Let's see if I can get this at least half of it in a normal sized bowl so it fits on the table all right Okay, so that'll go on the dinner table. And this I'll put in a container now and pop it in the fridge. Okay, so the meat is browning up nicely. I like to break it up so there's no chunk, big, big, we don't want big chunks. We want like nice ground up meat. Okay, so now is when I'm gonna add the beans. Just like that. And I'm going to come in here and smush them up, break them up. All right. I'm going to get the old school potato masher and mash up the beans right into the meat so you don't even see them. And if you buy the taco seasoning in bulk like this, instead of the little envelopes, it does tell you on the back how much to use. Um, so it's three tablespoons of taco seasoning and three quarter cups of water per one pound of meat. That means that I would need nine tablespoons of this. I'm not going to put that much because this has a lot of sodium. It's super salty. So I kind of just put maybe two thirds of what it says. So I'm going to do six tablespoons of taco seasoning and one and a half cups of water. And you can always taste it later and see. And if you think you need more taco seasoning, you can always add more. So let me show you. One and a half cups of water. And I'm literally just going to measure out six tablespoons of taco seasoning. Again, the container calls for nine. I'm just going to do six. And I think that'll be enough. And I always taste when I'm done to make sure. And if you need more, you sprinkle a little more right on top. Now, what I do like to do is when I put the taco seasoning in the water, I like to get a fork and dissolve it in the water first before I put it in the taco meat to make sure I don't end, end up with any clumps of taco seasoning powder in your tacos. So that's it. It's nice and dissolved. And now I'm going to pour it in the taco meat. So I am turning the burner up to medium high because I don't want this cold. This is like room temperature water. And I'm gonna pour that in there just like this. Okay. And then I'm gonna come in with my old school potato masher and just mash up the beans, get everything mixed in. And if you love your beans whole, leave them whole. I mash them up so that my kids or my daughter, she's my son doesn't eat tacos. He doesn't like taco seasoning. 
Um, so he, I made him something else. He's eating something else right now. But my daughter, if she sees the whole beans, she'll say, I don't want it. So if you mash them up, she won't even know they're in there. So I'm just going to keep mashing until they're dissolved and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so this is the taco meat after I smashed it with the potato masher and I let it simmer for about 10 minutes for some of the water to evaporate. And this is the taco meat. You can barely see that there's any beans in there. Everything is ground up nice and fine. Now I'm gonna give it a taste to see if it needs more taco seasoning. It's literally just a matter of sprinkling in some more and giving it a good mix. Let's see. Mmm, nope, perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on the sour cream. It's not really sour cream. It's uh, Greek yogurt. So this is fat-free, plain Greek yogurt, and we're gonna use this instead of sour cream. So, there's a couple ways you can do this. So I'm gonna put some of the Greek yogurt in the bowl, just like that. And then, a little bit more, there we go. And then I'm going to add a drizzle of olive oil to thin it out. And that's it. I'm just gonna give this a good mix. And this is gonna be our sour cream. Something else I like to do is to put cilantro and lime in here and make a cilantro lime sour cream sauce to put over the taco. But my daughter prefers hers plain. So sometimes I get her some plain and then I make a batch of uh, cilantro lime yogurt for the sour cream. But today I am just gonna do the plain. Okay. And now I'm also gonna put on the table these pickled jalapeno slices. I only have a little bit left. I'm the only one that eats these. So I'll put that on the table. And we have some plain old taco blend cheese. I don't put the cheese on there, but my daughter loves cheese on her tacos. So I'll put that there for her. And I like to squeeze some lime on my taco as I'm eating it. And we also have these soft whole wheat tortilla tacos. So, this is how I like to eat my tacos. Sometimes I'll do just a plain crunchy shell, but 99% of the time, I take my whole wheat tortilla, I take the crunchy taco, I break it, and I put it like that. Then I take the sour cream, AKA, Greek yogurt and put it on one side just like that. Then I take the taco meat and I put it on just like this. And then I take the slaw and I put it on just like that. Now, if I didn't have the slaw, we would just be doing iceberg lettuce and tomato, but I don't have lettuce or tomato right now. So that's why we're doing the slaw. A squeeze of lime juice over the top, just like that. And oh, Forgot the jalapeno slices. Some jalapeno slices. These are pickled jalapenos. So yeah, they're spicy, but they're more vinegary and not killer spicy. And some jalapeno slices, just like that. And now you take your taco, fold it up, and you have yourself tacos that are soft on the outside and crunchy on the inside. Whatever that's caused, uh, called, this is what this is. Let's see. Mmm. That, my friends, 
is an amazing taco. You have the soft whole wheat tortilla. You have the crunchy inside. You have the slaw, the meat. This is delicious. That, my friends, is a good taco. Mm-mm-mm. So good. Mm-mm-mm. All right. I'm going to show you one without the whole wheat tortilla. Take your taco shell. Take the sour cream, a.k.a. Greek yogurt. Just like that. And you're going to take your taco meat and put it inside the taco. Just like this. And then you're going to take your slaw and put it right over the taco. Just like this. And this is your crunchy taco. Okay, let's give it a try. Mmm. That guys, that is a good taco right there. I'm gonna get this plated up and set on the table, but I had to do a taste test with you guys so that you could see how delicious this is. And uh, I hope I inspired you to do tacos a little differently. Maybe you can make a slaw. You've never made a slaw before. Give it a try. So good. Maybe try using Greek yogurt for sour cream. Delish. Or turkey meat with beans for your tacos. Either way, I hope I inspired you to do something. Try something different. And maybe you found something you love. Um, I didn't use this. I forgot about this. But honestly, like I said, I don't use that. But my daughter's going to want that on hers. And that's it, guys. That is turkey Mexican slaw bean tacos. Thanks for watching. Bye.